A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. Sing a joyful song to the Lord. Alleluia. Let the heavens and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Alleluia. God's name and earth in reply echoes back with joyful songs of praise. Sing a joyful song to the Lord, Alleluia. Let the heavens and earth rejoice, Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the Feast of the Santo Nino. And every time we celebrate this feast, we remember and we reflect on the childhood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The devotion to the Holy Child is the oldest and one of the most popular devotions in the Philippines. As we celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino today, let us also reflect about our own childhood, as well as the dual challenge to be more Christ-like and to be more childlike. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Sadi <speaking in Spanish> Amang makapangyarihan, Panginoong Yeso Kristo, Buktong nanak ng Yos Cordero ng Ama, Ikaw nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan, Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan, Kau na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama, Maawa ka sa amin, Kau lamang ang banal, Panginoong Yeso Kristo, Kasama ng Espiritu, Sa 
Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth, and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things, and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Median. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord is King, let the many else be glad. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord is King, let the many else be glad. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord is King. Let the many else be glad. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, 
the Lord. The Lord is King, let the many else be glad. The Lord is King, let the many else be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved therefore i too hearing of your faith in the lord jesus and of your love for all the holy ones do not cease giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him may the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones the word of the lord thanks be to god please rise to honor the holy gospel And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and he said to them, let the children come to me do not prevent them for the kingdom of god belongs to such as this amen i say to you whoever does not accept the kingdom of god like a child will not enter it then jesus embraced the children he blessed them placing his hands on them. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said in the gospel, Let the little children come to me, and little children come to Jesus all the time because children are among the favorites of God. Jesus did not only invite the little children. 
Jesus embraced them. Jesus blessed them. He placed His hands on them. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast of the Santo Nino, a feast that brings to our attention the wonderful image of the child Jesus, which in the first reading is described as a child is born to us, a child is given us. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. As we celebrate the feast of the Santo Nino today, we reflect about the mystery of the childhood of Jesus, about which the Bible is almost totally silent. If Jesus is truly man, what was his childhood like? In spite of the numerous legends about the miraculous power of Jesus as a child, the Gospels say very little about the early years of the Lord. Perhaps the most unusual was when he was already 12 years old, Jesus getting lost and he was found in the temple. The religious leaders were amazed at his questions. But other than this, Jesus was probably like any other child, even when he was an infant. As a baby, Jesus probably also cried when he was hungry. As a baby, Jesus nursed at his mother's breast. Jesus slept a lot. He also wet his diapers, although there were no diapers yet at the time. He played with his toys. But what were his toys? The gospel does not tell us if he ever had any toys. Jesus went to school to learn the three hours with his friends and classmates. But the gospel does not say if he went to school at all. As he grew up, Jesus probably helped his mother with the tasks around the house. And later, he would help and learn also from Joseph, the foster father, who was a carpenter. Jesus was so ordinary that if you were to bump into him in the street, you would never have suspected that he was the Son of God. That is why the people of Nazareth rejected Jesus when Jesus was teaching them in the synagogue and they said, He is one of us. We know his parents. Isn't he the son of a carpenter? My dear brothers and sisters, his entire human life, from his birth to his circumcision, from the presentation in the temple to the escape to Egypt, the unpleasant event of being lost and found in the temple, the hidden years in Nazareth are directed to and unified by the Paschal mystery of His death and resurrection. Saint Luke states that this is the same Jesus who progressed steadily in wisdom and age and grace before God and man. These mysteries should be seen as part of the whole mystery of Jesus. The feast that we celebrate today 
my dear brothers and sisters, is also a reminder that life is a long journey from birth until death. That life is a long journey from infancy to old age. And today's feast of the Santo Nino, though quiet and subdued in Cebu and elsewhere due to the pandemic restrictions, is special not only to Cebu but also to Tacloban and to Pandacan and Tundo and to the entire Philippines, especially in the light of our celebration of 500 years of Christianity in our country. We all know that the devotion to the infant Jesus, to the Santo Nino, is the oldest. It is one of the most popular Catholic devotions in the Philippines and it has become so popular that the Holy See has granted us the special permission to celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino on the third Sunday of January each year. But what is the real significance of this feast? What does the childhood of Jesus say to you and me? My dear friends, I'd like to go back again to the Bible. The Lord saying, I tell you solemnly, unless you turn and become like children. What does that mean? It doesn't mean that we have to remain like little children because biologically that is not possible. What it wants to tell us and what it wants to challenge us is that, yes, we learn to be more Christ-like, but at the same time, we should also be childlike. To be Christ-like and to be childlike. This is the dual challenge of our feast today. As we celebrate the feast of the Santo Nino, let us continue to challenge ourselves to be more Christ-like and to be more childlike. The feast also invites us to dance to divine love in a simple manner of living and loving. The Filipino people salute the Santo Nino and praise with a simple faith of a child so that our daily Christian witness will inspire others as a convinced and convincing witness to the living presence of the man called Jesus. Finally, because I feel nostalgic today about the Santo Nino, may I hum part of a song that always made me teary-eyed during the annual celebration of the feast of the Santo Nino when I was still assigned in Cebu. Part of the song goes like this. Batu balani sa gugma sa daang tawo pala angga Batu balani sa gugma sa daang tawo palangga Batu balani sa gugma sa daang tawo palangga My dear brothers and sisters the same song continues with 
kanamu maluoy kaun ta nga kanimu mangila haba kanamu maluoy kaun ta nga kanimu mangila ba Happy Feast of the Santo Nino Not only to the Cebuanos But also to the people of Tacloban Because they also celebrate The Feast of the Santo Nino de Tacloban Santo Nino de Tundo Santo Nino de Pandacan Santo Nino de Cebu Viva Pete Senor Prititit As we say in Cebu Let us all stand. Let us recite the creed in its shorter form. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, in and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Holy Child reminds us of God's power at work in our humility and weakness. Let us pray with confidence to the Father, for we are all His children. Let our response be, Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and all religious always aspire for the gospel values of love, humility, and service, rather than power and influence. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayers of, of your, your children, children, Lord. May our civil and political leaders become fully convinced that true greatness is attained through service and care, especially for the weak and those who have less in life. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayers of your, your children, children, Lord. May the poor, the marginalized, and the victims of violence in our society derive strength from conviction that they have a spe special place in Jesus' heart. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayers, prayers of, of your, your children, children, Lord. May our devotion to the Santo Nino help us grow in wisdom and grace. Before God, keep the spirit of a child and live with our brothers and sisters in openness, freedom, and friendship. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayers of your, of your children, children, Lord. May the Lord welcome into the paradise our departed loved ones. We pray. Listen, Listen to, the to the prayers of your, of your children, children, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen, listen to, the, to the, prayers the prayers of your, of your children, children, Lord. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Give us the courage to do your will so that we may be worthy to share the eternal happiness of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ang alak na ito, 
inuming inihain sa'yo. Mahal naming Diyos, inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa amin. Buong puso naming hihintayin pagpapala na aming hiling. Aming hati dalay na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo at ang kapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munti Mula sa amin, buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na aming hiling Please rise Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters That our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this off-field mystery, Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call strain humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. Let us again proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. As we pray the Our Father, let us pray that we will be more Christ-like and be more childlike. from every evil, deliver our children from all other evils, 
In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all fear and anxiety as we wait in joy and in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and joy of the Santo Nino be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us The Lord said to the disciples, Let the little children come to me, do not prevent them, because it is to such as this that the kingdom of heaven belongs. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Santo Nino, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please be seated. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose starting from the right side facing the altar. Ushers will guide you accordingly. Body of Christ, Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Loving Father, you have nourished us, us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of charity, so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. All together, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynademitz, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. Our Shrine Fiesta activities on January 24, 2021 with the theme, Sambayanang Cristiano, Gifted to Give, Empowered by God's Word, are as follows. The Triduum Mass in, or in honor of Jesus the Divine Word will start on January 20, 2021, Wednesday. The Mass will be presided by Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. January 21, 2021, Thursday, the Mass will be presided by Reverend Father Randy Flores, SVD, Head of the Biblical Apostolate of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Cubao, and on January 22, 2021, Friday, the Mass will be presided by Reverend Father Arlo Yap, SVD, Executive Secretary of the CBCP, ECBA. Our Fiesta Mass and Sunday of the Word celebration will be on January 24, Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning, to be presided by Most Reverend Bishop Onesto Ongchioco, D.D., Bishop of the Diocese of Cubao. We invite everyone to participate in our Fiesta activities, which are live-streamed and open to the public in accordance with IATF guidelines. Thank you. Nais ko rin samantalahin ang pagkakataong ito, mga kapatid, mga kababayan at mga kaibigan, na magpasalamat sa ating mga benefactors at donors na nagpapadala ng kanilang tulong sa Christ the King Seminary. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtugon sa aming panawagan para sa Christ the King Seminary at sa ating mga seminarista. Makakaasa kayo na ang inyong mga panalangin ay aming isasama araw-araw sa aming pagdiriwang ng banal na misa. 
Sa pagkakataong nito ay nais ko rin manawagang muli sa mga may gininto ang puso, sa mga nais magbigay ng kanilang tulong sa Christ the King Seminary. Kung maaari po sana ay dito ninyo ipadala sa mga sumusunod ang inyong tulong. Ang aming BDO account name ay Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. The account number is 0002201900. Two four seven zero 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 two two zero one nine one two four seven. Ulitin ko zero 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 two two zero one nine one two four seven. Meron din po tayong GCash account at ito ang numero ng GCash ng Christ the King. Zero nine six seven three one eight nine eight three zero zero nine six seven three one eight nine eight three zero. Tatanawin namin isang malaking utang na loob sa inyo ang inyong taos-pusong pagtulong sa mga pangangailangan ng Christ the King Seminary. May God bless. All of you, may God bless all of us. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and peace, Señor, to all of you. Thanks be to God. We joy to the Lord of the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out, we joy to the Lord of the earth, come before Him singing for joy. Know that here the Lord is Lord, He made us, we belong to Him, and we are His people, the sheep of His flock, the sheep of His Lord, cry out with joy to the Lord of the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out with joy to the Lord of the earth, come before Him singing for joy. Come before Him singing for joy. Come before Him singing for joy.